strange world of woke, you know, it's always difficult and easily to become offended. But when it's about British history, particularly British history that changed the course of everyone's life, it's very difficult then, isn't it? Now, a lot of people say, well, Neil, you know, you cover a lot of migrant stories and those sort of things, but these are the things that are really appertaining to people over here in the United Kingdom and, of course, across the Commonwealth. People want to know exactly what our governments are doing with our sort of personal effects because we feel history all belongs to every single one of us. To speak about an event like this, which was incredibly historical, so much so it was turned into a wonderful film starring the brilliant actor Richard Todd, who I mentioned, I think, before in a previous video, I was lucky enough to meet on stage at the Theatre Royal in Hanley, where we were appearing in a big show called Variety Express, and he was there rehearsing for a play in the afternoon. In fact, I thought you were a little secret. I think he dropped off in the chair. You understand that expression? Dropped, yeah, fallen asleep. What do you mean you're falling asleep now? Yes, I can tell. Wake up at the back there. But on a serious note, The Dam Busters was an incredible film. Now, seriously, over here in the United Kingdom, there's a big problem. That's because the site at Scampton, over here in the United Kingdom, RAF Scampton, has now been put at risk. This is because originally they wanted to turn this into a wonderful heritage site. And I think this would make a fascinating look into that particular world, do you not? But right now, the government are planning this. And as ever, they've had a bit of a woke hit back. Let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. I hope you're all keeping well. Fine and dandy today. And this, as I say, focuses on a very big story that is getting a lot of traction over here. Now, currently, over in Rwanda, the Right Honourable Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, is over there trying to secure spots and places for the many small boat migrants that are teaming into the United Kingdom via the English Channel on a daily basis, with a colossal hotel bill forcing a lot of hotels to turn away weddings and forthcoming holiday makers. Now, the bigger problem is this. Where do you put those alleged refugees? Well, the government's plan was to look at the uh, RAF Scampton site and put in 1,500 refugees. The locals there up in Scampton simply don't want it. Not just because they don't want them near, but simply because they didn't want this to halt the plans for the heritage sites. Now you might say, well, that's unkind and uncharitable and not very Christian, whichever you want to look at it. But the bottom line is this, how many other sites and areas must be taken over to house this continuation? And when you think about these historical sites, one wonders, well, if you want to start with that, should we be looking at bigger places, perhaps wonderful English stately homes? Could they not fit in one or two migrants? This is the backdrop and this is the burning story that is emerging over here in the United Kingdom. For now, this particular idea has come to a shuddering halt. But it's strange to think, isn't it, all of those years ago, 70 plus years, this site was the site of a major historical event which changed the course of many people's lives. I'd love to know what you think to this particular breaking historical story as ever in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of England.